workbook passwords. So I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube where people sort of say, oh, how to remove a workbook password. And, you, and people think, and all the comments are like, I thought you were going to tell me how to uh, open my password protected file, but this is rubbish. Yeah, workbook passwords are slightly different and they just protect the structure. So again, if you go to the, sorry, review tab, you'll see this button here is this protect workbook is uh, highlighted and you need a password to unprotect it. What that effectively does is prevent you from adding extra sheets or changing its name. If you can see down here, everything is like greyed out. Well, not everything, but um, a lot of the stuff's greyed out. Go to review here, look, you can see it's got a password. Won't let you do it. So, how are you gonna get around that? Well, I have a full video on removing sheet protection. Link's in the description. And the third method in that will also remove workbook protection. So I go through the method in detail in that video, but before you sort of jump over and look at this video, I just need to show you one slight difference. So what's happening here is, and you do this for free, it's actually relatively quick. You need to change the file extension, assuming it's an XLSX or an XLSA or M, you change the extension to a zip file. Incidentally, something I don't say in the other video that has come out in the in the sort of questions is that if you have an XLSB file, so binary Excel file, you'll need to save it as an XLSX file before you do this, because binary files, you can't use this method. Turn it into a zip file. Sure you want to change it? Yes, I do. If I just open it with um, the Windows Explorer for now, just so because everybody's got that. There's a folder called Excel, might be other folders than this. It's a very simple file. Click on that. You'll have so normally to remove sheet protection, you go into the worksheets and you see the sheets, but actually, I want to go into the workbook.xml file. I'm going to open it, right? I'm going to use Notepad. And in here, if we do a search for the word protect, you'll see workbook protection there. And effectively, you need to remove this code. All right. And you'll see where it ends, it ends there. Now, you can um, make a note of that, put it back again and things like that. And I go through a lot more detail on exactly how you go about saving the file and things like that. But essentially, that's what you need to do. You need to delete that. You need to save all this, re-zip it back up, change it back to an Excel file, and that will remove it. But like I say, that's a that's just an overview of how you do it. Go to the other video. I'll show you in a lot more detail.